back. Did I miss anything? Unless you count the worst PvP main event fight I've seen all year. Not really, no. Alright. <coughs> Going out. <laughs> I'll word with Go Go outside. Who's so hyped for that match? He must be devastated. Who's Go Go? Stop using these names and pretending they're real. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, I say. I just noticed that. I probably should have noticed a long time ago, but Jill's like crushing on every woman like that is around her for more than like once a generation. Like she's crushing on Alma, on Dana, on um, Dorothy. I'm sure it's perfectly healthy. Good evening, Jill. How are you doing? The nightmares have stopped, so I'm sleeping better. <laughs> um, how about your injuries? My bones are healing nicely. My wounds finally closed. The scars itch a bit, though. That's good to hear. Are you by yourself today? Yeah, I'm running a couple of errands by myself today. I wanted to come here for a while. I also knows the big guy from last time's outside. Boost... Buster? I almost called him Boostier. Buster. Stella doesn't want me to make... Don't want, doesn't want me being alone while I'm still healing. So she, 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 bleh, bleh, bleh. she suggested taking him with me. I really hope Stella shows up, because I'm supposed to give her a drink um, before the 14th to see one of those events, I think. Ah, whatever. I think we still got one more day. Something cold. Sure. Cold for Psy. Oh, that, that's not cold. Oh, right. I just got to find something. With... Wait, the piano? Aged, mixed. On the rocks, alright. Gotta be a fancy bar and give everyone fancy expensive drinks. Nice. Mix. There you go. Yeah, this is the one. Why drink something cold when the weather outside is cold too? It's not that cold, actually. I mean, you, you, you're in a tank top in frickin' Christmas Eve, and it's not cold, whatever. Well, I've had decent tolerance to the cold, so I'm not a good reference. So Stella isn't with you? She's throwing a mega Christmas party tomorrow and has a meeting today. I'm just helping her by checking some of the things she ordered. Aw, oh, no, Stella's in a meeting today? I need to give her that drink. Wait, or was it Alma that I have to give the drink to before the 17th? No, I think it was... I think it was Stella. Here I was, all ready to invite you to the party we're throwing tomorrow. Is there any party too? Sorry about that. Can't say no to Stella. Maybe next time? If there's a next time at all. Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. I want you to know that I want you to have a good time. Have fun. Drink a couple of beers. Capital B, beers. Beer is a brand now. It's a hashtag brand. I can't wait to engage with beer. It's beer. What are Stella's Christmas parties like? I'm getting drunk too. Getting drunk on this purified water. Mm. They're really big. There's lots of drinks and mu food and music. Sometimes there's too much food though. So at the end of the party, she lets the staff take home whatever is left. She also buys toys for all the children of her staff members. Really? She said something about taxes or whatever, but during the whole thing, she just shines. She carries like a beaming smile that I don't see every day of the day of the year. Many of the kids are starting calling her Auntie Ella. Huh. So Stella's like crazy rich, I guess? I guess she, they did have that story about her in like a limo as a kid or something. Still always dubbed to put up her tough girl facade, but she's very much in touch with her inner child. Christmas, Easter, Halloween. Name a big party and she most likely celebrates it big. Interesting. Do you like parties, Jill? I don't mind them. They're a good place to see people. I'm not one to actively look for parties to attend, though. I just don't mind going to them. Ah, I see. The only good parties that Stella is attending, because otherwise I'd just stand out without something to say. That, and I'm not one to wear dresses, you know? You're not? I'm a tad too ripped. <laughs> yeah, let's go to the gun show. They don't look cute on me. I'm sure you can find something that looks fine. Yeah, with all this healing I have to do, I won't be as fit for a while. Aww. Too a breezy, too. I feel like I'm wearing nothing. But I bet you look good in a dress, Jill. It's been years since I last wore one. I wouldn't know. Last- The game crashed. Twice, actually. So I changed how I record it to see if that fixes it. Let me 
crashed right around here. I'm also getting major allergy issues thanks to Parker. Yes, thanks to you! It's been years since the last war one, I wouldn't know. Wait, no, we were. We all have a complex. We all have a complex, huh? I mean, Stella has her own. That's hard to imagine. <clears throat> oh, but she does have one. She distresses a lot about her bust size. I, I really can't see that. She's not that small. I'm smaller than her, in that fact. Actually, it's the opposite. The opposite kind of complex, I mean. She's a bit selfish about complex about having a big chest. Really? Huh. Yeah, and I've seen bigger chests than hers, to be honest, though. So. I guess comparisons are useless here. They really help with the complexes. Well, she still goes the extra mile to hide it. In fact, I have no idea how she does it. I've seen her before and after she tucks them away, but I guess I never cared much to ask the specifics. Binding tape, I guess. I... I guess it's a tough show-off thing. It's kind of dumb to me. That's why she goes in her hair. When she goes out, she styles her hair in those, um, drills. They look a bit drilly, don't they? She styles her hair like that to divert attention away from her chest. I, I, I guess that would distract, like, that her, considering her hair is, like, larger than her torso. She seems affluent enough, why not go through a reductive surgery? She kind of likes having that size. She takes care of her, she takes her bust after her mom. Miss Kermine is quite proud of her butt. Puffing out your chest is a sign of confidence, and a bigger chest means to have more confidence to show. <clears throat> She's something I'm thinking along those lines a lot. <clears throat> this is the joy of having a cat when you're like just allergic enough that if he gets in your face all day, which he has been, it's a problem. I haven't I even washed my face and ugh, took some allergy meds, and it's. Uh, this is probably gonna be my last recording tonight. I can I can tell you that much. <laughs> Stella has quite the admiration for mom, so I guess the rest reduction would feel like betraying her, huh? I'm making it sound like she's hiding Jacobs or something like that. I guess in a taller, thicker person, her size would be normal. She's just a bit shorter, thinner than the norm. Do you get self-conscious about your bus size, Jill? Why are we? Why is everyone talking about their tits? Just calm, calm, calm down. Not really. Or self-conscious about my height. That usually comes up when, whenever not being average height hinders me somehow. What about you? Yes and no? Am I short? It's hard to tell with these, you know, everyone is shown from the shoulders up sort of thing. Or from the whatever. It's not my bus size, but rather I look too manly sometimes. No, you really don't. And I can't help but wonder if bigger boobs would help me with that. Why does everyone have a complex? Chill out. Fine, don't worry. Thank you. Can I get you anything else? Hmm. Do you have something non-alcoholic? I do. Something non-alcoholic for Sai. Can I give her the fedora? Oh, I can't be that mean, though. Um. Non-alcoholic, but expensive. The expensive has booze in it. Lame. I think that 200 one really on is the best I can do. Yeah, Bleeding Jane. Blinderied. Blended. Ugh. There you go! Thanks! You don't want to drink that much alcohol, are you? It makes me feel sleepy, or at the very least, makes my legs go numb. Your booze makes my eyes feel dry. It's unpleasant. It's sort of like being sleepy, but it's like a very specific bleh. Like, it's not too sleepy, it's just like my eyes hurt. I hate it. Anyway, it's an annoying feeling, to be honest. It makes me wonder what's so good about getting drunk. I mean, I'm not above it. It's not exactly a pleasant feeling. Oop. Oh, nope. Uh, hey, 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 calm. Calm down! Stop that. I guess she just has a random chance to show up when you're changing the thing. Yeah, I guess she's done for now. You feel like you're sleepy when you're not. Your legs go numb. Everything starts sounding funnier than it really is. What's so good about not being able to control yourself? Exactly. 
Usually people like feeling numb because their numbness helps forget their problems. Even if we don't talk about alcohol, there's a portion of people that can't afford food or suffering from some pain that only alleviates when drunk or high. Doesn't really sound logical on paper, but then, then again, humans are rarely, if ever, logical creatures. Despair and pain cloud your judgment enough to make you do stupid things sometimes. Yeah, I've seen that firsthand. This world has an ugly side nobody deserves to be a part of. Ahem. It's also a matter of addiction, you know? You start just liking the drink, then you need more of it, and before you know it, you're hooked. Oh yeah, that too. So tell me, what kind of party you guys throw on? Nothing fancy. It'll just be me, Boss, Gil, and a couple of regulars. They'll bring food. We'll chat for a while. That's it. Man, that sounds so good. At least better than the whole planning man Nestella is throwing right now. If you ever throw something like that again, you let me know, you hear? Sure. Hey, Sai. Yeah? What do you plan on doing now? Or that was me. Whatever. I'm gonna check one last errand before going home. No, I mean, what do you plan on doing now with the White Knights disbanding and all? To be honest, I don't know. Never prepared for a plan B, because I figured if you can go with a plan B, what makes it... Why not just make it the plan A? You know, all the boo talk reminds me. There was an article on Gamma Sutra about... Um, it was basically entirely about the boob talk. And I, I was rather annoyed because, I mean, there, there's some of the boob talk is pretty lame. I'll grant them that. But they barely talk about the flat thing, which is ridiculous and makes no sense. And they also don't really talk about any of the other weird, creepy sex stuff. Like, Dorothy. Everything with Dorothy is so gross. She's, like, straight up designed for pedophiles robot. And the article thought Dorothy was interesting. I'm like... Uh, I don't know, man. And the, the article was also making a big point about how women don't actually talk about boobs and women don't like boobs and stuff. It's like... Lesbians do exist. I, I know quite a few on Twitter. And several more fans of Senra and Kagura. And I mean, boobs aren't everything, but, um... I don't know. There's this weird thing where people really love to talk about how nobody cares about boobs. And then they ignore actual issues to talk about the boobs. So I'm pretty sure they have... They got some issues themselves. Because, I mean, there's more glaring issues than this. Than, you know, blame but fairly inoffensive boob talk. The whole, the whole issue with, um, Dorothy, uh, and just generally speaking, you know, a game that has big boobs, that's what they're going to focus on. Or if there's cleavage, they're going to focus on that. They're not going to focus on, you know, gross, um, gross ways that the women are put down relative to the men, or how, you know, I talked about harem stuff already, like, that's garbage, and like, too often, women's personality is, you know, treated as secondary or relevant. I mean, it's so rare for them to talk about that, but they'll talk about boobs, and it's like... There's real issues you'll be talking about, but you're, you're... You're focusing on, oh no, there's cleavage? Really? I mean, that wasn't the point of the article exactly, but like... When people complain about Senator Kagura and stuff, that's, that tends to be what they do. And it just bugs me to see more annoying actual problems get ignored. Anyway, that's a bit of a tangent. I'm not the brightest person, so I never graduated from college or even high school. I could go for a position with the police, but it wouldn't be as thrilling. I'm tired of blatant corruption. Sick of it. Well, don't work for the police then. Oh, but I'm alive. Hmm. I learned something after that hell in Apollo Trust. Life is not something you can just throw away easily. You, you just now learned that? Flying my way out of that place made me realize how much I just want to be alive. The body count left in the bank was ridiculous, but I'm still here. I don't know what I'll do, but I'm alive. I'll figure it out sooner or later. That's... That's one way to be, I guess. Well, I gotta go. Bye, Jill. Good luck with the party. Please come again. Oh, hey, Mr. Detective. Aw, how's that girl? Give me a strong drink, don't you? That's a bit strong. Perhaps something manly. Manly man drinks for men! I already did the menergy joke. I'm gonna give him the most expensive one. I think that was the Mars Blast? Why are manly drinks so cheap? Come on, men. Give me some money. 
Yeah, I guess it's Mars Blast, so, uh, bloop, 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 blended. Oh, and it's strong, too. There you go. Ah, oh, yes, this will do. So, what brought you here? Nothing special. I was just working on a case, and I happened to be in the area. That kind of work. Tracking someone. A gun for hire. What about the girl? Crimson something. I am tracking that girl. Can't you just get out of that job? I did, but the guy offered a huge amount of money, and, well, I just couldn't review his game. <laughs> his face! <sighs> well, it's your life, not mine. I wonder, though. There has to be something about this whole thing other than just acting as a middleman to look for some murderer. Hmm. Say, how safe is this place? We're protected by the BTC property laws, the walls are soundproof, and I really couldn't give less of a shit about selling info to anyone. Okay, Zen, wait. Soundproof walls. Bye. Did you see the vending machines outside? They're quite talkative, the bastards. Be knowing without those walls. I mean, we also have flying cars and gun- Wait, we heard gun gunshots through the soundproof walls then? Have you heard of Lord Lance Lavender? Nope. He must like alliteration. He's some big name from Canavania. Canavania? Con wait, Kanyevania? Uh, his blood apparently has some weird re reaction to Glitch City's nano machines. Once in contact with the air, it does nothing. But if still fresh and touching someone's blood, the nano machines will cause. will initiate a reaction. Essentially, they'll just eat through that other person's body until there's nothing left. They're using him as a guinea pig to see what causes that reaction, and if it could be used to fight nano machine rejection. How did they find this out without him being, like, eaten apart? Well, turns out the Crimson Rose is his daughter. She left years ago to earn her living here, and she hasn't been seen ever since. You could be lying, you know? Doubt it. I did my research. She really is his daughter. Why couldn't you figure that out earlier? I had no clue who was making the contract, and tracking down all the messages to the source would have been too costly. Knowing who the sender was made things easier. I see. Can I get you anything else? Hmm. What about the cobalt velvet? Okie doke. Cobalt velvet. Blurp, blurp, blurp. Blurp, 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 blurp. This guy likes his booze. On the rocks? Mixed. Well, I guess if he didn't, he wouldn't be in a bar. Oops. Here you are. Oh, you actually did it. You expecting me to mess up so you didn't have to pay? No. <laughs> so what made you keep the contract anyway? Keeping in mind all the risks you told me since last time? You told me he wanted to see her again one last time, or at the very least, deliver her a message. You could have been lying. Yes, people lie. You've made your point. Even then, I felt like I couldn't say no. I mean, I know what it's like not being able to find your daughter. What it's like to be apart from her, not knowing what she's doing or even if she's alright. You know? I have a daughter. She's about your age. She's <laughs> fake. Sorry. She was a teen. We had a big fight and she ran away from home. These damn millennials and they're running away from home. I wonder what 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 made this crash? I, it's so weird. I guess I'll give a reboot after this. At first I just waited for her to show up. But then I started getting worried and went out to find her. I couldn't find any trace of her. Nobody had seen her. Soon I was worried something might have happened to her. I guess that's how my tracking skills and list of contacts began to grow. How was that? What? Calm down. You have destroyed my immune system or whatever already. Whatever causes allergic reactions, calm down. You just sit there and lick your foot. I finally found her, taking cover in some dumpster, unconscious from starvation. How would you possibly... So yeah, I just couldn't say no to find the re his request of finding his daughter. I don't expect you to understand. So, how's the search going? I'm very close to finding her. That girl's pretty good at hiding her tracks. Compared to her f from before the bank institute, she seems slower somehow. Either she's let her guard down or something else is happening. What do you do when you find her? I have this letter I'm supposed to deliver to her. 
Look at what it says, and I don't want to find out. Oh, she tries to kill you. It might not look like it, but I can take my care of myself, bartender. You don't stay so long in this business without picking up a couple of tricks. I guess you're right. Okay, I better get back to work before her trail goes cold. Yes, Parker, you better go back to work. Please come again. Are you done? Yeah. Okay then, I want you here before... Oh wait, crap, I can't get Stella to... If the party's tomorrow, I guess I'm not seeing Stella. Well, I guess I might have missed one of those peoples. <laughs> hmm. Oh well, we'll see. The bar will be closed tomorrow. Come dress in your absolute best, driving a party after all. All right. Where's Gil, by the way? He stored all of our things in his home because of how close it was to the stores. So I told him to go home already and bring the stuff tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow, boss. Wait, hold on a little bit and I'll go with you. Oh, sure. Thanks. I know this small party is what you needed. The boss is, like, almost creepy with her, like, levels of caring for us. Just make out already, jeez. Merry Mega Christmas! Let us celebrate Santa's resurrection as the Mega Santa and save Christmas for the Redmonds. That's not what I was expecting. Happy holidays. Party then? Bring your leftovers. Right, I, I guess I'll read... Um... Hmm. Nah, uh, I think tomorrow's gonna be a big thing. I want to save all the Mega Christmas for one video. Mega Christmas is here by Kira Mickey! I'm way too used to Christmas, but the mega tradition here in Glitch City is mega comfy. I know it's an incredibly absurd name, the holiday isn't less crazy due to its origin. But I find it amazing how GC managed to replace the original festivities. Some places celebrate Christmas and eating fried chicken. What's with you people and chicken? Calm down. I know it's delicious, but it's not a Christmas thing. Especially not fried chicken. You're supposed to make... You know, turkey and ham with an oven. No no frying. What is this? Are you from Texas or something? Calm down. Well, it's not that different considering they have the same dates, but it's still pretty cool. Boop, gotta go. Time to sign some books. Heart, heart. You can't even get colored emojis in, this, in space. Or not space. You know, whatever. Cyberpunk land. Was it Mega Christmas or Mega Christmas? <laughs> don't know. I don't care. A reference to Mega Man, I'm pretty sure. That Mega Man does have a space, but almost every single cover makes it Mega Man with no space. So, uh, brands are complicated, dream person. I think this is new. Is this new? Every now and then, I'll wonder if I'll ever meet my significant other. All the stimuli from being born just three years ago. Wait, no. Yeah, I already read that. Never mind. I wish it indicated which one you'd read, specifically. <laughs> Spooky. Messages have suddenly stopped and everything is normal again. Still, we can't help but wondering, what's the deal? It's a very journalistic sentence there. Was it a prankster or someone who just discovered how to subvert public communications in Lillen? Either way, some reports indicate that Lillen behavior has been rather unusual as of late. We've seen some of that, too. Although we can only imagine the confusion they were going through. Let's not forget the similar, similar had occurred five years ago and a little advance was at a historic high. Fortunately, nothing came out of it. Will it happen again? Time will tell. Is it sexist to have an army? Yes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Kanye Vania went through demilitarization before. Is it sexist to have an army of robot women? By Laura Lee Smithy. Where did that L come from? There's no L in there. Whatever. The ones, with arti the ones without artificial intelligence, mind you. The King of the West, Kanye. <laughs> uh, oh my god. From the western nation of Kanyevania, they sent approximately 6,000 foot soldiers, all who look like the hottest girls around. Is this show of quirkiness from the wacky di dictator problematic? I'm pretty sure being a dictator is more problematic than most things in the world. But these dictators from Venezuela or wherever just do what they want. They don't give a shit. Or is it Marania Zimmer, 35, told the Augmented Eye in a street interview. They're all pretty hot, though. If I was him, I'd have done the same. Why bother with the real thing when you can just make make them from scratch to meet your every needs? Whereas we investigate. That's not gross at all. Huh. 
I'm not even going to comment on that one. Whatever. Yuru Yuri is the best show this season. Is, is everything... Is this is, is this the only person they have on staff? Animes for nerds. If you weren't a fan of Yuri, your slave was life slows already. Then be prepared to join the Moe Church this season with the premiere of Yuru Yuri. I'm sure that's a Yuri Yuri reference. One of the funniest shows I've seen in recent years. The battles at Danger Yuri forum seem to be divided, however. This is such obvious pandering. Remember when anime was a woman about doing womanly things and beating the shit out of each other? What are this... What is this trash? You girls are just haters who hate their lives. Smiley face with a nose. I'm gonna marry Shana Chizu. Wake me up inside. <laughs> Same. You can catch YY every Saturday at RSTV. Yeah, I don't, I don't know Yuri Yuri, so no comment on that one either. Um, I guess I don't know what my bill is, so I don't want to spend any money. Um, let's just save. Boop. And stay tuned next time for Mega Christmas, I guess. In true mega Christmas fashion, I'm feeling slightly less horribly allergic, and I guess maybe I'll continue here.